It is not a smooth process. There are setbacks along the way. But it is providing a model for reform. In Australia, the same thing. In New Zealand, the same. And perhaps no country was more encouraging last year than Canada, right? Our fellow my neighbor in North America. In Canada, where a Canadian Senate commission recommended the legalization of cannabis. Its report is perhaps the best thing ever written on the subject. Where a Canadian parliamentary commission recommended decriminalization and harm reduction. In British Columbia and Vancouver, where a new mayor is taking radical positions, even going beyond what many people in Europe will advocate for. And in Latin America, something is happening here too of which this event, this meeting, to which I give my congratulations to Al Giordano and DRCNet for making this happen. And not just Al, but all of his minions whom he enlisted in this process. But this is both the culmination and the beginning in Latin America. Already 10 years ago, people were talking about the human rights consequences of the war on drugs in Latin America. Already four and five years ago, people from Brazil and Argentina and elsewhere we're talking about the need to introduce harm reduction measures to deal with the growing problems of drug injection and drug abuse in their own cities and societies. Already, academics and professors and legal scholars were writing articles and books saying that perhaps legalization is the only answer. And now already, people at the elite level, the ministers, were whispering, this war on drugs makes no sense. Legalization must be the only answer. But now you see, the whispers are becoming that much louder. Cautiously, but louder. President Bacha in Uruguay saying this makes no sense. Let's legalize. Castaneda, your former foreign minister, before he entered office, saying perhaps legalization is the only answer. Even your President Fox, what did he say last year when some journalist asked him? President Fox, one of your senior police officials has said that legalization may be the only answer. What do you think? And what did Fox say? Well, in the long run, it's the only sensible alternative. But of course, I won't do it now, and we have to do it together. And But he said the words. We know what he thinks. In fact, I think that if you were to gather in one room, all of the government ministers, former ministers and current ministers, former presidents and prime ministers and current presidents and prime ministers, and you were then to give them a drug that made them tell the truth, made them say what they really believe, a majority would say the war on drugs is a disaster for my society and that legalization is the only sensible alternative for most of Latin America. And our challenge is how do we take this up and out 
so that the dialogue and the discussion can no longer be suppressed by fear and by the political forces of my government. Here's what I think part of the answer is. First, understand there is no way, it is impossible, I do not believe that the entire global drug prohibition system will come tumbling down the way the Berlin Wall came tumbling down, the way alcohol prohibition ended rapidly in America. I do not think that that is possible. It is this global prohibitionist regime has taken a century, a hundred years, to build. It cannot just be smushed down, it cannot crash down. It has to be untangled, unraveled, chipped at, kicked at, pushed at, even as the forces on the other side are pushing to build it up even more. What does this say? Across the Atlantic to share my experiences, and I ask for the right to speak. My proposals about the therapeutic use of heroin are currently found under experimentation in Switzerland, and I have an interpreter in Spanish. So Al, you want to have him speak later? <laughs> Up to you. There's your, your turn. You, what? Yeah, let's, uh, let's give him, the, let's give him the, the opportunity to speak at another part of the agenda. Hey, Marco. Getting in. Explícame que luego en italiano, que luego le da la palabra. Yeah. Let's go go from here. Tell him that he will have an opportunity to speak later, but if you would let Ethan have his wife to speak too. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. The process of reform inevitably is one of pursuing incremental changes bit by bit with the vision of a different future. It is hard work and it is long work. Now, let me conclude with these points. 